just about four kilometers south of Governor's Harbor, you'll find Eleuthera's first national park, the Leon Levy National Preserve. This 30-acre park promotes conservation, preservation, research, and education about the island's history. The ultimate goal here is conserving indigenous species of Eleuthera's flora. We arrived during a festive dedication ceremony and enjoyed the atmosphere a bit before beginning our walk. A visit here starts in this beautiful water garden, vibing with the soothing sounds of fresh water spilling over stones in a stream. We followed the sounds to this serene lily pond. And you know who else loves to vibe with water? Turtles. The streams here provide a habitat for these Bahamian slider turtles. Originally thought to be a species native to Jamaica, new evidence suggests these important members of the ecosystem were here in the Bahamas long before anywhere else. They help keep the water clean by eating algae and potentially harmful insects. Keep up the good work, little buddy. We found two turtles to feed. There must be others underneath these lilies here, but we found two. Most of the trails here are through coppice forest and give a glimpse into what the wilds of Eleuthera may have looked like before humans arrived nearly 1,800 years ago. You'll see a lot of gumbo limbo trees here, which are hurricane resistant and provide sturdy, dependable protection for wildlife. They also have many uses for humans, from glue to incense. And where there are this many trees, you'll also find termites. Lots of them. These huge termite towers are constructed of mud and chewed wood. I actually ate a termite one time. It was kind of peppery, had a little tang, a little bite to it. Figuratively, not literally. Termites are important to an ecosystem because they clear out the unhealthy trees and keep the forest from becoming overgrown. The boardwalk through the mangrove forest gives the opportunity to experience an ecosystem that's hard to access on foot. Wow, this network of spider webs is huge. It's, it's many different webs and many different spiders are in here and it's just a really beautiful picture with this blood red water behind it. I guess that must be oxidation from the leaves or something. This is really beautiful. The original inhabitants of these islands were the Lucayan people who farmed the land successfully until the Spanish arrived in the 15th century and their agricultural society is represented here at the Edible History Garden. Over the centuries, many cultures, including the Spanish and Africans, brought their own fruits and vegetables that have continued to thrive here. No wonder, because this red soil here on Eleuthera actually arrives on the wind from the Saharan Desert, thousands of miles across the Atlantic. It settles here and enriches the local soil, making the growing of fruits like mangoes and bananas possible. This replica of a Lucayan home built with Bahamian pine gives an idea of what life was like back then. They would hang their hammocks from these railings to sleep off the ground. Wow, this would be quite comfortable in a climate like this. Very much like a Polynesian structure. I was thrilled and surprised to see maybe my most favorite plant ever. Mm wild coffee plants. And the name of this species of coffee plant? It's called Psychotria nervosa. You gotta trust the scientists. How perfect is that for coffee? Pretty perfect. You know, coffee is usually something grown at higher elevations. It's interesting to see that there are endemic wild coffees to the island here. It's pretty cool. We checked out the Bush Medicine Trail the poisonous plant trail, keeping our hands and feet on the path, of course. Until we reached our goal, Ethan's Tower. Named after the botanist who designed it, at 75 feet above sea level, it's the tallest spot in the park with commanding views in all directions. Wow, it's a really gorgeous view up here. 
360 of the jungle around, view out to the water there. This would be an awesome tree house. Have a sleep over here. The staff here at the Leon Levy Nature Preserve is hoping to keep this view alive and healthy long into the future.